Hello guys, my name is Jackson and I am working on a game at the moment. It's a multiplayer game and it's got a lot of animations in it, both with the players and with the AI. And I'm using behavior trees to, you know, drive all my AI. Um, and a snag that I've run into is because the behavior tree only exists on the server, if you call animation montages or you want animations to occur from your behavior tree, so like if you've got you know, one animation you want to occur in one circumstance and a different animation for another one. And you want to be using the length of those animations to drive the behavior tree. So, you know, you run animation montage, such and such. When that completes, finish execute, move on to the next one or the next one or whatever. If you want the state of the animation to drive the behavior tree, um, you need to put your animation montages in your tasks. But the problem is, is because this only exists on the server, your behavior tree only exists on the server, if you're running animations in here, then you, you'll be in the game. This is the game, by the way. It's really fucking scary. Um, you'll be in the game, and your animations will only be occurring on one screen. They won't be occurring on the client. So they'll only be occurring on the server because they're not replicated. So one thing that you can do, and a little system that I have set up. Let me just walk you through how this works. Um, I have an event inside of my AI blueprint. This is, this is our guy. I'll probably tell you more about this game another time. <laughs> oh, that's so fucked up. You have a multicast event inside of his blueprint, which uses the play animation montage node. And that is playing whatever animation montage you've got. I'm not going to explain how to set up anima animation montages and things. But basically what you want to do to get this working is inside of your behavior tree task. This is what my task look, looks like. Receive, execute, blah, 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 blah. I call that event that I just showed you that I'd made. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to have a re-triggerable delay after that event. So this is starting the montage. So starting the animation. Have a delay for the sequence length. So if you get your animation montage, and then you get the sequence length, you can have a delay. And then after that delay finishes, then you finish the execute. Okay, so then that'll return on the behavior tree and it can go on to the next task and it'll be marked as a success. But there's also the case where you want to abort this animation because some other condition might happen. So you'll want to stop his attack midway and then um, go on with your other tasks. So the way that you can stop the animation is when this receives an abort, um, call the same event or you can have a different event if you want but basically you just want to use this stop animation montage node um, and that'll just stop the animation montage <laughs> mid attack he'll be starting the swing and then his priorities will change and his behavior needs to change on the behavior tree and so he'll cancel his animation and then he'll go do his other thing um, and this is replicated so this is a multicast event and it's reliable okay and because it's called on the server this is on the server the behavior tree tasks are always on the server because it's called on the server, it'll replicate to all of your clients. So it'll play the animation on all the clients, the animation will stop on all of the clients. Um, and then if you've got like hit damage and stuff, like you can see he's got boxes on his hands, those are hit boxes. Um, whenever those overlaps occur, check if they're occurring on the server and then do the damage on the server. Um, and then anyway, after you've stopped the animation montage just there, in your behavior tree task, when you start the abort, stop the animation montage, then you can just go ahead and just finish the abort. Um, so this will be playing, he's animating, he's doing his attacks, and then something occurs, he needs to abort his behavior tree, it'll stop the animation where it is, and then it'll go on to whatever else. Alright, so that's it. Peace out.